I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing. Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be bringing you this set today. I tried the unicorn nail for the first time ever and I'm so excited to do so many more of this like nail design because it is bomb. So I'm starting off with the NSI Totally Clear Base and I'm going to be sculpting the actual nail out of that. So I use that just as a base and to add the strength and everything like that and if this was an actual client it just means that we can change that set really, really, really easily. Once I've done that I come in with my coloured acrylics and my glitters and I will leave everything in the description box down below if you guys want to check those out. And this design is just a not polished design, so everything is made out of acrylic. It's either acrylic colour or acrylic glitters. And I just do it nice and randomly. I really find that if you choose a great selection of colours and glitters, you can pretty much do whatever you want and the look will turn out freaking awesome. Like, it's really, really simple, you know? The only thing that I would suggest is, like, I'm not saying you can't mix it up, but say if you're doing a design like this either do really sharp crisp lines or keep it nice soft and gentle so like the fades and stuff so i would either do like the block designs or the fades i don't tend to mix the two but i do sometimes you know what i mean it sort of like depends what colors you're going for what like look you want um but yeah just a little tip soft with soft harsh with harsh and everything will be okay and um, so i basically i'm just Fading that glitter mix up the nail for an ombre look and that pastel pink, look how gorgeous it is. It is so beautiful. And then I'm moving on to the next nail. Again, I'm sculpting that base out of clear. Then I'm going to be using the Radiant White from NSI and I'm basically using it like a little bit of a water paint or a colour paint. And I'm applying that really, really thinly just to add a base to this next glitter. Now this is one of my glitters I had in my shop and guys you will be super excited to know that I have decided to open the shop again. I am super excited and Babe is going to be helping me on like packing the orders, getting everything ready for you guys. So this time it is going to be here to stay and I'm going to be bringing you so many amazing, fantastic glitters. And this one I'm pretty sure I have some of this one available and it is honestly stunning so yeah look forward to that because it's gonna be absolutely bomb we will be shipping internationally as well so I'm so excited I hope you guys are as well if you are excited about the shop coming back then please give this video a thumbs up so we can see who is excited so moving on to the next nail, again I start with sculpting that base and if this was a regular client I would make sure to put the base all the way up to the natural nail as well but as I am only working on a nail trainer hand I'm just doing it on the free edge. So for this nail this is going to be the unicorn horn kind of nail and I wanted it to be sort of holographic with the hollow powder on top but I wanted to see a little bit of those glitters and colour peeping through as well so I applied the pink really thinly and then I applied some of the glitter mix that's on the middle finger really really sparsely and then some of the chunky mix which is on the ring finger is it? I don't know, this this trainer hand on, it's on the pointy finger and I applied that over the top as well so we had a nice mixture going on and then when I put that hollow you will see at the end that you can just see it peeping through and it looked so so freaking gorgeous I cannot wait to do a set on my hand I'm literally gonna do that like next like seriously I'm in love I'm always late to these things you guys know I'm always freaking late I wait so so long so moving on to the next nail and this is a little pinky nail and I'm again just sculpting that free edge and I did a long coffin shape and I'm using the pink as a base. I made sure that I used that throughout the set alongside the glitters to make sure that everything went along nicely and the design flowed between the whole entire set. So I apply the pink as a base halfway up the nail and then I fade down that chunky glitter again. That glitter is absolutely gorgeous. Again, just a little sneak peek of what is to come to the glitter store. I'm so excited! Oh! 
who's freaking excited anyway this is what it looks like like how freaking gorgeous like mm, yeah moving on to the thumb again sculpting that base obviously i don't mean to say this every time but i just decided to anyway and then I'm applying the white. I basically did it the same as the middle finger, so I apply that white as the base and then the white silver glitter mix over the top. In love with that mix. Seriously, if you had a tan, you was on holiday, sipping your cocktails on the beach with that just on every nail. Oh, giving me life. Seriously. This is the brush that I use pretty much every video, every set, and I always have it linked down below for you guys. Just wanted to show you what it looks like. Because I don't know if I ever have. I think I have, but not in every video. So, yeah. And next, for the encapsulating, I did go ahead and swatch up the brushes. And I used the Alpha brush in the size number 12 oval. And it's absolutely huge to say it's the same size or meant to be the same size as my brush that I've just shown you. Um, but I just wanted to use this for the encapsulating to see how it works and get a feel for it because again, I'm still trialing these brushes to make sure that they are freaking awesome so I can give you my honest opinion on them. At the minute, my opinion is slightly mixed. I do like it, but then there's some little issues. So I'm seeing if I can iron those out before I go ahead and let you guys know my entire full thoughts. So I'm going ahead and encapsulating all the nails and then I will go in and file them into shape. Also, if you guys want to see what nail drill e-file that I use, please click the link in the description box down below or I will try and remember to put it on the screen somewhere because I did a full video telling you guys all about the drill that I use and I will have another alternative, more affordable one coming up so don't forget to look out for that. This drill bit that I'm using is the ceramic drill bit from Todak USA. I always use this bit because it's extra safe and it's extra beautiful. And I just basically with this I take down the bulk so I'm not filing with the hand file for ages so I'll do that on all 10 nails and then I'll come in with my hand file and tweak the shape, refine the length to make sure it is exactly what my client wants. So this is how that looks. I forgot that I was doing the unicorn nails. So I forgot to like sculpt it in like an almondy shape. So I had to file it that way, but it's not a problem. It didn't take too long anyway. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my little 3D unicorn bit. So for this, I am using, what did I use? Oh, I just used some clear gel, some clear builder gel and this fine nail art brush. And I basically just went across the nail in diagonal, diagonal motions. And that is pretty much it. It was so freaking simple. Like, seriously? Are you even kidding me? This is all I did. So I did that. I cured it for 30 seconds. I came in again with the Builder Gel. And I redid it just to add a bit more depth. Because I don't want it to be too flat. Because when you add the top coat, you don't want it to sort of all just blend into one. So I did that again, as you can see here. And it was so easy to do. I was literally... I don't know. I thought it was going to be harder than that. I just don't know. And this is what it looks like after I have cured it. How freaking simple is that? And then I come in with a top coat. And the top coat that I used was a no wipe gel top coat. And once I had put it into the, into the lamp, so I cured it for 30 seconds, so making sure it was 100% cured, straight away I took it out of the lamp, and this is the holographic powder that I'm using, it's from Bang Good. I'll try and remember to leave a link down below, and I might have a coupon code as well, I might have that, I will double check for you guys. And as soon as it's out of the lamp, I get this brush, and, well not a brush, sorry, this sponge, and I just rub it gently over the nail to catch those grooves, the bumps, and make it super freaking magical. And look at that. Like, how amazing is that? You're going to be seeing this in every freaking set, I swear. So once I've done that, it's time to finish off and add the top coat. So I add a top coat to all of the other nails and making sure that I cap the free edge because we don't want anything chipping off. 
So I made sure to apply a generous amount of top coat, especially over the unicorn horn nail, um, making sure that you get right around the sides and capping all of the free edge. We don't want any of that hollow peeling off because it's just going to ruin the whole entire look. So once I've cured that, set it in the light, wiped off any sticky residue or anything like that, it's time to add the 3D nail art. And I really just thought that cute little delicate 3D flowers would go so, so nice with this set. And I was totally right, like the finished result I was so happy with. So in, like, I will let you guys watch this now because it's a couple of minutes long. I wanted to keep this one in a little bit longer so you guys could see exactly how it's done without it being sped up too fast. So this is only sped up two times faster so it's not like crazy. So I'll let you guys enjoy that little bit and I will be back in a minute. <laughs> So guys, this is the final look and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Please look forward to more nail videos coming your way. I have so much planned for you guys and I am just so, so excited. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video and also share it as well because why the heck not? Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye! Guys, please always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You've got this. I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back.